What's going on YouTube? This is Fish Freak Phil. Giving you an update on my Fluval Evo 13.5. Um, it's been a little while. Just wanted to give you guys, uh, let you guys know what's been happening with the tank and the reason for the lack of videos in the last uh, few months or so. Um, just uh, want to let you guys know that I will be taking this tank down. Um, unfortunately, but for good reason. Um, family and I are moving into a house in which I will actually get a proper, proper fish room and um, obviously got to take things down to move them. Um, and I will be going, I will be uh, starting my dream tank build and I'll give you guys updates on that. I'm gonna do a video just based on that. Um, Cause I'm gonna want some feedback on what you guys think and things like that. Any suggestions and all that. But um, as far as this EVO 13.5, I'm gonna keep it running. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually going to move some of the livestock that's in here. Um, the firefish, the clown, I'm probably gonna be going into another tank. To, uh, into a, a bigger tank. I'll just say that. Um, you can see I removed the candy cane corals. They were taking up too much space in here. Um, this is prime real estate, so. Um, I also added uh, some acans in here. Sorry, I don't know the names, but they're pretty dope looking. And that one is doing well. That's my uh, rainbow a can. And frog spawn is, man, this thing is loving life. It's spreading out. Right now it's a little retracted a bit because I was just scraping in glass. Um, but feeding kind of heavily uh, for both the corals and fish. Well, not the fish so much, but uh, more so the uh, corals. So, the, you know, obviously phosphates and nitrates are rising because of the excess food and stuff added some corals in there or I should say I forgot the name of this but uh, got a kind of purplish color I think it's like purple stylopore or something of that nature um, if, I'm if I'm incorrect please please correct me in the comments below um, my Rastazoas, look at them. They're growing up on a glass. I'm eventually gonna cut that off, but right now I just want them to grow as much as possible. Um, I got some rock over there. Try to get them to grow up on. Right now, the uh, well, it looks like the snail, and I got a crab over there disturbing them, so they're all closed up. Yeah. But. Other than that, um, the tank is doing pretty dope. Um, I've been having trouble with this. Uh... Now this thing is good and bad. You got some, this is the Fluval uh, PS2, I believe, uh, PS1 um, protein skimmer. It's the one that's made to fit into this tank. Um, problem with this thing, I find that, and you can see where it's overflown. Um, with any in sump protein skimmer like these mini ones, it's hard to get them at the right level at times. Sometimes, and when it does this, I can tell you it's probably due to my Chato. Just, yeah. Chato is growing like a champ. Like I literally cut this a week ago. I ripped this out and had like a fourth of it in there and it's already grown back. And that's in about a week's time. It's growing like it's growing like nobody's business. And anytime that happens, you think that the water flow would go through there nicely. It causes this the back up here. Um, if I had like a hang on back protein skimmer, I wouldn't have this issue. But I like the fact that it's just everything's contained in here, so um, less worry about things spilling over and things like that. Not that it can't happen here. But in this application, the way I have it set up, it's less likely 
to have any leaks, any water going flowing anywhere. So that's why I kind of, you know, for my first tank, I opted for that versus any type of uh, hang on back solution. Um, other side of that, uh, everything's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I'm excited because uh, I will be moving and I'll probably be changing the aquascape in here. Um, and that, and with that, I mean I'm gonna probably have to scrape the glass on that side because right now I only have two viewing sides, as you can tell. One, two. Um, that's just based how I have the tank, but I will actually be having a setup as a peninsula um, when we move to the new place. Um, so all that coralline on the glass gotta get scraped off. And how do you guys feel about coralline on your back walls? Like I have it on, like you can see, it's almost all over this the back wall there. It's almost entirely covered it. Let me know what you guys feel. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's not bad, but it kinda, I think I might end up scraping it because it kinda takes away in regards to, I like a lot of contrast when it comes to colors and stuff like that, but there's without, with the, with the wall being purple and the rocks coloring that way, it kinda, takes away from that contrast, that background. Um, and that's why you have colored background is to give uh, uh, depth to what you're looking at. My auto top off is going off. Yeah. It's kind of loud. It's because I have it sitting in a glass container. This is yeah, It's in a glass container versus a plastic. But it works. Um, Anywho, I cleaned off, I, was, I kept saying I was going to get rid of this pump uh, and that, uh, was it the flow, uh, I forgot what they're called. I took that out, cleaned it out really well, the pump as well, took everything apart and it's back to operating normally. So it's, it's going to stay in place for a while, until at least until I move. Then I'll revisit that, uh, that um, thing that thought again um, but for now um, yeah so it's quick update uh, livestock fish are doing well um, everybody's just chilling now uh, they think I'm gonna feed them again I just literally just fed them not too long ago this guy's a this guy clown he loves the food man he gets really aggressive when it comes to food and actually today my fire fish are pecking at everybody. Not playing today. Anyway, just a update on the Fluval Evo 13.5. Do your research, try things out, and see what happens. If you like the video, definitely hit that subscribe button and you definitely are gonna wanna hit the notify button. In the next coming weeks, I have, a, I have some awesome news, I have some awesome ideas. Um, definitely gonna need your feedback. Uh, I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Um, I'm t uh, attempting. I'm going to be attempting something I've never done before. Freshwater, salt water. I definitely need your help. So definitely stay tuned. Um, comment. Um, give me your input. I'm gonna ask for a lot of input. Um, and let me know uh, if you have any questions on my tanks or uh, or after I let you guys know my plans. Um, uh, feel free to comment, ask questions. I, I try to reply to everybody who asks questions or leave comments or whatever. Um, you know, trying to grow in this hobby and for anybody else, you might be asking questions that they want to ask or don't feel it. I don't know. Anyway, do your research, try things out, and see what happens later, y'all.